So I wanted to uh, make a video about what I uh, make if I'm going to make an omelette for breakfast. This is a, uh, uh, I find it quite, uh, quite tasty and it's, uh, it's the kind of an omelette for breakfast that will last you right through uh, right through the morning with no matter what you're doing and um, and uh, need be right through the day until uh, till supper time so <clears throat> it's a, a sardine and cheddar cheese omelet and that may sound weird but what I have is uh, one uh, tin of uh, wild caught sardine fillets and right here wild cut sardine fillets in spring water and drained and then uh, four eggs and then oh uh, some uh, grated old cheddar and um, fair life milk this is pretty good milk so we'll see uh, how it uh, see how this all goes together I did make up an ingredient uh, not an, an ingredient but a nutrition list of uh, of all the things it has overall 53 grams of total fat uh, 27 grams of saturated fat the rest is all various other little types uh, 145 milligrams of cholesterol uh, 4 grams carbohydrate, 64 grams of protein, 400 milligrams of sodium, 485 milligrams of potassium, 800 milligrams of calcium, 4.7 milligrams of iron, 0.7 micrograms of zinc, 3.5 micrograms of vitamin D, 0.4 milligrams of riboflavin. It's got a bit of uh, vitamins A and D just generally. 125 milligrams of phosphorus in it, and it's estimated 770 calories. And I derived all that information just off the nutrition labels on the product packaging, which we have here where I live. It, everything comes with this nutrition information. So that's just book values for nutrition, and pro they're probably pretty accurate. So, so uh, yeah, so what I do is I take four eggs and uh, put them in the, the bowl here and whisk them up and I add in I break up the sardine fillets into you know smaller pieces and then I blend them in and then I pour the the uh, the omelet mix into uh, uh, the pan here and now I, I'm I normally I would actually fry up a couple of strips of bacon just to get the pan ready but uh, I happen to be out of bacon right now I go to the store so uh, this is just a bit of lard in here you can use butter or whatever lubricant you desire of your choice and I just put it on I, I just have it warming up here on low until I'm ready and then I'll just increase the heat to medium heat this is just a little hot plate I'm using I'm not a very rich person. Uh, I don't. I don't have. And I live in a tiny home, so this is this is what I use for electric cooking. And uh, now I do have a small wood stove which I can cook on, but I find the heat, the heat's a little harder to control um, in this instance. And uh, so, uh, so that's the. That's the deal. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this all together. You don't need to see me crack eggs. It's a pretty low-tech process. So four eggs, uh, half a cup of milk, and sardines, and then old cheddar cheese. So I'll, give, I'll show you what the end product looks like. So this is the omelette in the, uh, I just put it in. Uh, you dump the uh, the mixture into the uh, frying pan, sprinkle on the grated cheese, and then I use um, Windsor uh, salt here. 
there is, you know, you can season it however you please. This is, happens to be old cheddar, so it kind of adds a nice bit of a bite and tang to it. So I'm just going to put the lid on. I'm on, you know, just kind of medium heat there. And uh, I try to not scorch my omelet, so I'd rather cook it on low heat. <laughs> Take a little longer than... Uh, I don't like tough rubbery omelets, so I'll just let this cook away and I'll show you what it looks like when it's when it's done. Okay, well this is the finished uh, breakfast here. It's uh, I'll call it an omelet. It actually <coughs> I cooked it in the wrong sort of pan. It's just uh, scrambled eggs, but it's got um, sardine and uh, old cheddar. Uh, and uh, Himalayan salt. So this is uh, what I would, I'd say, particularly on uh, on a weekend. And uh, this is what I'll have for breakfast and black coffee with it. Just plain old black coffee. The odd time I'll throw a little pat of butter in on the on the coffee. And uh, yeah, so this is what what I would eat for breakfast. And uh, it's a uh, it's enough food to keep me going. No matter what I'm doing, heavy work, hard work, or just even sitting around, it'll, it'll last me all through the morning right to lunch, and if need be, right into and even well into the afternoon. So, over and out.